Hello guys, welcome to the next episode, Plug and Play Tactic with me, Magoobidge. Hold on, let me put a light on. It'd be better with a light, wouldn't it? Oh God, it's too bright. Never mind. And it's going fantastically well. Look at this league table. 13 games played, 13 wins. Unbeaten. We've scored 39 goals, considered 8. We're 10 points clear of Man United in 2nd. We're 12 clear of Tottenham in 3rd. 14 clear of Man City. It's been unbelievable. So in the last video, you saw us take on Tottenham and beat them 2-1. FC Copenhagen, we skipped that one and beat them 8-0. And then we beat Man City 4-1. We then played Chelsea Carabao Cup and lost 4-3, which was ridiculous. But we've beaten Fulham Premier League 2-0. We've beaten Copenhagen in the second game against them in the Champions League group 2-1, which means we've qualified. We beat Backburn 2-0 and we've beaten Aston Villa 2-1. 13 games, 13 wins in the Premier League. Unbelievable. Now we're going to play PSG Champions League and the group looks like this. We are on nine points in second. We haven't qualified. PSG have qualified. We haven't yet, which is strange. Um, we're playing each other. Celtic play Copenhagen. Celtic with two games to go are five points behind me. So I need a point to qualify, but I need to beat PSG to try and win the group. After this game against PSG, we're going to take on Arsenal in the Premier League, who are currently 10th. So it's just going fantastically well at the minute. So let's get into this game with PSG. And there's been a signing. We've signed in Adrian Arnold, a 20-year-old wonder kid. We've signed him for 65 million, which is just outrageous. But this guy's a centre-back. He's a centre-back, a 20-year-old centre-back, but look at him. 14 marking, 17 tackling. 18 jumping reach, 16 acceleration, positioning 14. He's only 20. He's going to get better and better and better. He's signed and we're improving. We're improving the squad. He's going to join at the in the January window. Here we go. This is PSG. Need to win this game to, to hopefully finish above them in the group. I've got some people back from injury, which I'm going to bring and put onto my bench. Samuelson, Baron, Zureb, Popov, Jensen, Poku, Kasa, Kapari, Gutierrez, Todorovsky and Henningsen. Here we go. Beat PSG, we go top of the group and hopefully win it. They beat us away in the first game. Team talk assertive. We could secure qualification. I've got faith in you. The only defeats we've had, two defeats this season, once against PSG, and then once in the Carabao Cup. Here we go. Let's encourage the players. We're playing well. We've been on fire. They've got the free kick though. First highlight. Sanchez to take it. Puts it wide. That's all right. We'll take that. Right. Ball gets played up. They half clear it. Henningsen looks for Poku wide. Poke, whose first touch is, takes the ball away from him. And PSG are looking to break. We break up play, though, which is good. Zureb to pop off. Pop off. Looks wide. Gutierrez comes inside. Shoots wide, unfortunately. 12 minutes gone. Pretty even, as expected. Throw in. Jensen to Gutierrez. Gets the ball back. Moves forward. Unchallenged. All run away from him. Eventually get the parry, but he's forced backwards. But we've worked it quite well here. And there's Hennings, Todorovsky even. He's offside. I thought he looked offside. And he was. Thought he's got too much space there. I was unlucky though. Great ball played in. 22 minutes gone. I see demand more from my players. Throw in. Jensen to lump it in the box and he does. Flipped on. Kasika's there. The goalkeeper parries the ball away. Poku can't keep it in play. Highlights have been ours. They had the first one, but now they've got another one. Baptiste takes a goal kick, but Jensen steps in, wins it. Kasika to Poku. Poku goes past his man, forces a good save from the keeper, and they get the ball away. We're beginning to turn the screw. We need a goal. No point being on top in games if you don't score. Half time. Nil nil. Right, assertive now. Get out there and get that goal. You weren't that bad. You can still improve. This is a big half. This will determine who wins the game 
obviously, and the group. But the group is, uh, if you can get first place in the group, it gives you favourable draw in the next round of the Champions League. Pop off. Parry. Long ball over the top. And Henningsen's away. And Henningsen scores. 15th goal of the season. We're at the 23rd of November. He's got 15 already. And that takes us top of the group. It's where we need to stay. It's where we need to be. Henningsen. Keeper can't get there. Great finish. Early goal, second half. That forced them to come out. Baron takes the corner now. Todorovsky. And it's gone in. We've got a second. Gutierrez had the shot. It looks as though Poku's flicked the ball in in front of the goalkeeper. And it's two. Why are they giving that to Poku? They're giving it to him. <laughs> he was nowhere near it. This is a glitch, maybe. Never mind. We're two up. We're in charge of the group now. Brilliant. Last game is Celtic as well. Right. PSG. Still plenty of time. 28 minutes plus injury time to go. Might bring on some fresh legs shortly. They've scored. Lagordi has scored. He scored in the first game. He's got another one. It worked it well. They're able to get down our right hand side, our left hand side, their right, unmarked. Show passion as a shout whenever I concede goals. Corner, Jensen swings the ball in, Zureb heads it over. Unlucky. Let's have a look at some fresh legs. Right, I need fresh legs. Jensen's now injured, so Cyrus comes on there. Midfield and defence. Midfield. I might change my two in in the middle of midfield. Rogolic, Kasaka. Rogolic and Raquel's come on. Just to have the legs in the middle where it's needed. PSG throw, 12 minutes to go. Lagord is in again. Good save. Four minutes to go. Can we hold on and get the win? Five to go. Demar Moore. They've got the corner. Get it away. And great save, Samuelson. Don't do anything silly now. Cyrus comes forward. Plays a nice, easy ball. Henningsen goes past the defender. Tolarovsky. Oh, he should have finished it. We've got the corner. We're literally on added time, on top of added time. As soon as this is finished, the referee should blow. And we should win this and take control of the group. Poku takes the ball down. They clear the ball away. It's gone for our throw. Blow the whistle, ref. Blow that whistle. Long throw into the box, headed away. Raquel's does well and we've won it. Excellent result. Absolutely brilliant result. Good work out there, lads. So we've qualified. We just need to make sure we win the last group game as well. Excellent. Another 2.3 million. Popoff needs the rest. That's fine. Henningsen inspires us as usual. So that's a great result. So Copenhagen plays Celtic. Let's see what happens. Celtic won. So Celtic's hopes are still alive. So Celtic are three points behind PSG. We've already qualified, so we have to wait and see. But the goal difference is Celtic's minus seven, so they're not going to qualify. So we just need to make sure we beat them last game in the group to win the group and go through with a good, hopefully a good draw. So let's move forward to take on Arsenal Premier League. Can we make it 14 wins from 14 games? Let's see. Here we go. This is Arsenal. The team, there's only there's two changes in the team that played from the last game. So my team is Samuelson, Cyrus who's in, Bangura's in at the back. The only two changes. Everybody else is the same as PSG. So the back four, Cyrus, Bangura, Zureb and Baron. We've got the first highlight. Gutierrez swings the ball towards the back post. Shot off the goalkeeper onto the post and away. Midfield, Gutierrez on the right. Parry, Kasker in the midfield. And Poco on the left with Henningsen. And Tolarovsky up front. It's all us at the minute. So two changes in my back four. Popov needs a rest. 
Jensen was injured in the last game. Henningsen, great one two with Gutierrez. Shoots, he now hits the post. Poku sends the ball in. Poku's fitness is not great. I have to say, it's all been us at the minute. So get creative to the players. Let's get another goal. Let's get a goal and, and really make it 14 out of 14. Let's get this game won first. It's nil nil. Passionate. We've been the better team here. Keep doing what you're doing. You've got the ability to make a real difference. Let's make some changes at half time. So Cater's not available. I'm going to bring Wing on for Poku. Wing can do a job that side. Let's bring Vargas on for Gutierrez to give him a break. And Dimitrovic can come on for Henningsen. Just to freshen things up, five different players that didn't start the last game. Got a strong squad this year. 16 shots, 11 on target at the minute. Demand more for my players. Right, they've got the goal kick. Not the ball forward, but they give it away. Kasika to Baron does well to actually win the ball back, so that was a bit of a short pass. Bangura, Samuelson, Zurem. Kasika. Long ball over the top. Dimitrovic is in, and goalkeeper saves it. Thought that was the opening. Show passion to my players. We've got 15 minutes to score and get the win. Arsenal's got a free kick. Keeper comes out and claims it. Now lump it forward and score. Wing making a sensational comeback. Tolarovsky. Dimitrovic. Dimitrovic scores. Oh, he's off. He's offside. Deary me. Demand more. Arsenal's got the highlight. 82nd minute. Don't let him shoot. Easy. Keeper. Highlight doesn't continue. We need a goal. Five minutes before the end of the game. We're going to drop our first points of the season. We are. It's finished. Oh, no, they've got a free kick. And they fire the ball high and over. But unbeaten still, which is great. I'm not happy. I'm happy, I said, with that performance. I went to say not happy. So let's send the assistant. Let's play the rest of the Premier League games. So we're unbeaten. 13 wins, one draw in 14 games. I'm quite happy with that. Even though we didn't win that last game. I'm more than happy with that, I should say. So Saturday fixtures, Cardiff beat Fulham. Man City beat Burnley. Newcastle beat Leicester. Southampton beat Blackburn. Chelsea beat Stoke. And Man United can only draw with Aston Villa. So as it stands, with Tottenham still to play and Liverpool, we are 10 points clear of United. 12 clear of City. Let's move forward to Sunday. So Sunday, Liverpool beat Watford 3-1 and Tottenham beat Crystal Palace 6-0. Sheffield United beat Wolves 4-2. So I am 10 points clear, top of the league. Tottenham are 10 points behind. So are Man United. They're on 10 points behind. They're unbeaten as well, Man U. 1-8 and drawn 6. So it's decent. We've got a great start to the season. So let's have a look through. So we're going to move forward to the end of December now. Man United away, followed by Chelsea at home. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, smash the like button for me, then subscribe to the channel. But make sure you hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss my videos come out every day, 6 o'clock. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.